Liberty Navy Rio Grande, right? Yep. I remember fighting over this ship at the very beginning of the original Freelancer. That was a pain. Look, it was, uh, Freelancer was probably the first uh, sci-fi game I ever played, my first real experience with online gaming. And honestly, I gotta say, personally anyway, it's probably one of the best places to start. Even today. Because of the yeah, Discovery mod. Good. Star Maid's the best, but this is second. It was a lot of fun, and, uh, and this ship has just really stuck with me ever since then. Nice. I gotta say, I want to build a Starflyer. And I know it's so cliche, it's so small or whatever, but... Love the Starflyer. I actually uh, went, went on the uh, Pueblo Station Rio Grande mission with the Starflyer because I didn't upgrade because I was an idiot. But you know, <laughs> it is what it is. Alright, so I'm assuming this one has an interior? Uh, yes it does. Alright, where's the door? Because that might help. Uh, it is on the bottom where the uh, of course was on the actual. It should be. Nice. Let me get down there and open it up for you. Okay. I'll leave my shuttle around. Ooh, nice. Okay, there we go. Very nice. Is this uh, LNS? What a yeah, it's based off of the Defender Heavy Fighter. Yeah. I knew I recognized it somehow. I, I couldn't get it quite perfect on it. Of course not. It's a voxel game. You're never going to get anything quite perfect, but this is a pretty good shot at it. I'll give you that. I really like the engines on that little shuttle. Alright, let's check out what you got here. I don't know if you can see anything. Uh, yeah, not a right. whole lot going on inside. Well, it's a military ship. You're not supposed to have a whole lot, right? Yeah. But, uh, like, cargo bay area. Alright. Cool. And a central, uh, series of elevators. Always a good thing to have. That heads back to the engine rooms and whatnot. Okay. Cargo bays again, the uh, side windows. If you continue forward, um, you can get to the main crew areas. It's nice. kind of roundabout. Eh, it tends to happen with these ships, but you know, it is what it is. What are you gonna uh, do? You have, to, you have to head up here and then forward through this area. Wait, where'd you go? Okay, uh, oh, that's Gilby. Okay. Oh, there you are. Okay, sorry. It's like, the heck? Somebody's honking their horn outside. Yay! Oh, sneaky. And then this is the main entrance to the crew areas. Very nice. Um, so this would be like a, an enlisted sort of uh, dining area. Alright, I like the tables. It works really well. And then uh, enlisted quarters and uh, like shower rooms and stuff like that. Okay. I can't open the doors. <laughs> it's alright. Don't lock me in here. <laughs> nice bumps, though. I like that. Very spatial, space efficient, but still keeping detail. I like that a lot. Um, interiors are still something I'm, I'm working on and trying to get really good at. Yeah, they're interiors, like, I don't know. When you start, you seem to be really good. Like, I'm... I says. I started, I thought I was pretty good at exteriors, and I did okay. You're way better than I was at exteriors, and kind of are better than I am at exteriors in a lot well, of ways. I, I, I do have to admit, I, I did rip the model from the game, um, yeah, and, and imported that through Smedit. Yeah. But I, I, I did do a lot, I did do detail work to get it as good as it is. Yeah. But nevertheless, I mean, but that detail work is what I'm talking about. And then, unfortunately, after... You know, I did that, then there's like, I had, yeah. Then I got okay at interiors, or at least I like to think that I did. Uh, officers' rooms, basically? Yeah, All this right. is like the officers' uh, area. Nice. 
And I, I thought I got pretty decent at, you know, it, uh, interiors, and then, and now I can't do exteriors anymore. I, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, you always learn new things. I've, I've learned a yeah. bunch of stuff just from watching um, the videos that uh, Tom and Owen and Ryben and, I mean, you and uh, Saber all put out. Well, uh, it's good to know I got this people is to watch. Kind of a, this is kind of a dead end. Oh, okay. Fair enough. Yeah, there's um, all these areas with, um, it's not full scale. Um, the actual ship's about 500 meters. Yeah, that'd be a little bit tricky. Only, yeah, this is only about 300. It's still pretty good, though. Um, so I I, had, I wanted to get all the windows in properly, but uh, some areas I just don't have a lot of room to work with. Yeah, and at the same time, remember, you're still in a voxel-based thing. I mean, there's only so much you can do. Yeah. So we hit up here. Um, and this is another observation. Oh, this is um, another flight deck. Oh, nice. Got another one right here. Very nice. Nicely done. I like that. I like that a lot. Right. And then up another level, and there should be... Yep, there's the cold. Yeah, oh, there's some. Okay, got it. Very nice. Ooh, I like that. It's just... If you're over here, it looks like it's just on its own. It looks like it's being lit from below and just... This is where you go. Yeah, yeah, I'm loopy. Leave me alone. <laughs> um, the, yellow okay. is, the yellow air is actually like a security station. There's doors here you can close. Oh, very nice. And then you have windows here so you can look at whoever's coming in. Nicely done. Ooh, I like that. I'm probably gonna rip that off. <laughs> if we're gonna be 100% honest here, it's probably gonna happen. Alright. Well, that's that's how I learned a lot of my techniques. Is I watched the videos and I, I saw what other people did. Yep, sharing is caring, I guess. I guess that's yeah, the best way to say it. Yeah, this is the the core room and the, the the CIC, I guess you call it. Yeah, nicely done. I like the lighting. It really does add to the the effect of the room. And then uh, back here is another elevator. It has up to the observation uh, tower. Alright, let's check this out. Ooh, I like this. This reminds me like of an old like parapet sort of thing where you know you've got like little key or uh, barrel holes almost. Yeah, this is cool. I just noticed. Eh, it happens. I'm sure you'll. Sometimes it takes that sort of thing to, that's why, um, you know, having other people run around and do block checks for you, it's one of the best yeah, things you can do. I do that with all my ships now, because I tend to find holes. <laughs> and I'm, yeah, I'm still finding cool. holes on ships that I built three and a half, four months ago. Yeah, and there's, there's constantly little things I notice when I go through a ship. Oh yeah. Um, you know, like just now, I noticed there were some spots I could put some of the new um, tetras and stuff. Yep, that's one of the beauties of having a um, you know a huge content patch is you find out oh I can do a whole bunch of other stuff. Yeah, we can actually go up here. Oh. And this goes up to the um, I call it a flying bridge. All right. Very nice. Um, there's not a lot of detail up here. Uh, it's still workable. Observational bridge. I think that might suit your needs. Yeah, this is. I imagine this would be what you'd use if you're docking or something like that. Yeah, that would make sense. Or pulling into a station, a mooring point, or something. Yeah. To go with freelancer discovery. Yeah. And I, and I wanted to, to pave this area over, but uh, I just didn't have enough room to put those in and still have people able to get through here. Yeah, that's one of the hardest parts is, you know, 
fitting interiors can be very, very difficult sometimes, but it looks like you've done a great job here. I still say, I, well, I don't still say, I say, because I haven't said it yet, um, you need the, uh, the, the bar where you get your, uh, yeah, I, your there's points. There's actually an area, an area back here I was thinking of, but my, my pathing sort of, sort of falls apart here. Um, yeah, so I come over here, and this would be a perfect place for the bar. Yeah, it would. But it's, uh, it's such a strange way to get to it. Yeah, who cares? As long as it's here, you're good. I still say this this would be a perfect bar. You just switch out the lighting for like lower lighting. And just yeah, go just for it. Some more muted lights. Yeah, that's awesome, dude. I really like this build, dude. Um, and this is the, the engineering room. Very nice. Um, I figured this would be like uh, storage cells or something. And then this would be the main reactor. And that would kind of stay relatively close to the lore. I like it. I mean, I don't think that they really discussed that in the lore, did they? Um, How yeah, the aside, from, aside from the hangar and uh, the equipment bay and the, the bar, you don't really yeah. see the interior of any of the big ships. Yeah, I know. Just kind of... I don't know. I wish I could. It'd be nice. Um, so it, it's just a lot of guesswork. Yeah, well... Just, where, where would this go, you know? Yeah, well you've done quite a good job. Now if I'm not completely lost, I'm gonna pop back out to my shuttle, and we'll do a quick spin around of this thing again. Do I go up or...? Uh, no, we head back forward. Uh, okay. I'm getting discombobulated. <laughs> yeah, I should put, um, some of those sideways gravity blocks there or something. Well, the other thing you can always do for markers is putting out uh, colored stripes. Yeah. That's what I tend to do a lot. Is this right idea? Yeah. Maybe. Um, I've, I've actually gotten a loss of showing this off before to other people. <laughs> well, it's a pretty good sized ship, really. I mean, I honestly, from the outside, it looks like it's big, like it's 200 meters, but it looks like it's a proper 200 meters, and it doesn't look like it's full 300 meters. It looks really, and that's actually an effect that's hard to get, you know? Yeah. Just, yeah, it looks really nice, I like that. And so this was the Liberty Rio Grande by... Yep, the, the LMS Rio Grande, um, Airborne Hotel. Alright, cool, thanks for showing me the ship, and I'm looking forward to seeing what else you can come up with. Thank you. And that'll be it for now. Thank you all for watching, and we will see you next time.